What I want to do in this video is give you a real short introduction in how to use the Python Playground. Now, we really, really indeed want you to install Python and run it on your desktop. And we give you instructions on how to do that and videos on how to do that. Um, the idea is eventually, especially if you're going to complete the entire specialization, you must run the programs on a desktop or laptop or a real computer where you can have files and manipulate data and create databases. But it's not essential in the first two courses to do uh, to actually install Python. We provide you a web-based, browser-based Python environment. But again, before I show you that, I just want to encourage you to go through the installing process and get it there, and it, it's just going to save you some time. In week two, we have this link, this link that will become useful to you. We call it the Python Playground, how to develop Python in the browser. And this uses a actual Python compiler that compiles code to the JavaScript to, to JavaScript and then runs it in your browser. So we're actually not running your code. We're really emulating your code. And, and this Python environment that we have, um, this Python environment that we have is not a perfect Python environment. And that's why I really want you to use the real one. It's, it's really designed as an auto grader for the very simple Python applications uh, that I assign you in this course. But you can play. So some of these buttons that you're not going to see because you're not the teacher. You'll see the run Python button and the uh, reset code button and the exit button. So this remembers the code that you wrote the first time. And depending on what assignment you're working on, there is base code that's not always correct. Um, in this case, I can reset the code to the original that you will see in the Python, uh, uh, Python playground, playground. And this is it. And it opens a file. And you're very at the beginning, so don't worry about this. Um, but there are some files, the files I use throughout the book, and they're sitting here available to be opened. You can't just open any old file. Just three, these three files are available. And then you hit the button Run Python. And then it runs the Python program, and the output of the Python program happens here. Now, I'll just show you. We'll, we'll just edit this stuff and make it a little simpler. Print Hello World, the, of course, the first thing. The Hello World, and now I'll run that. So this is an editing area, and this runs it. And then print have fun in the class. Right. I can even make a mistake. Make a mis you know, print make a mistake. And I'll hit run Python and it won't run. It'll, it's not the best of error messages, but it does say that there was a problem on line three. And I look and lo and behold, there's line three. And um, if you uh, you know, once you run it, it actually stores the code. So I'm going to finish here, get out, and then and then go back. I mean, I'll just go right back to it. And you'll see that the code I had from before was already there. And so you can use this. The playground is not graded. And you can write any Python code you want. And a lot of people do write code. And uh, we can take a look. The teaching staff, um, if, if you, we find you in a forum or something, we can actually look at your code. And so you can use this as a way to communicate with the teaching staff. Okay, so I uh, hope you find that useful. Uh, the Python Playground, you can always find that under week two where I have uh, the, the Python, how to run Python. Um, and it's there at this first thing. So hope that's helpful to you. See you on the net.